hello everyone I just wanted to pop on here and show you something that kind of came into my head the other night and uh, I'm really excited by it I think it's really cute I hope you like it um, it is a little tiny circle book for holding your artist trading cards an artist trading card is a two and a half inch circle not card it's an artist trading coin excuse me it's a two and a half inch circle and it's been very popular on the internet lately with trades and and making a circular little item to trade fun happy mail kind of things so I wanted to make a little book that could hold artist trading coins and this is a little book and it sort of expands so that uh, if you have thicker coins they can fit in there so I'm just gonna open this one and it's basically an accordion book with hinges so if I were to open one page it would look like that and see my coin could then be attached and if you put it in with washi tape you could flip up the coin to see the back side and that way you could write down who it was from on the page so you could actually fit one on the back here and one here but what happens is is the book expands because it's an accordion book and the fun thing is is that then you can put coins all on the back side and then if you wanted to you could hang this piece up like a banner and it's designed so that it could be just hung up in your studio or your craft space or it can be closed up and different coins can be placed on each of the pages just to give you an idea so we're going to make one of these today and it's very simple really but you do have to have a couple of things ready you need to have and I'm not going to try to tie that back together while we're but it just ties it just each the front and the back just tie so you have to have some circles oops you want two circles cut out of some cardboard now this happens to be a cracker box the reason for this is your front and back covers need to be a little heavier so that they can hold the ribbons and things that's going to tie so we need two circles out of this kind of cardboard we're going to want special craft uh, cardstock to cover this circle and on this particular book we're going to use black cardstock and then you want a coin sized piece to use as your decorative cover so these two circles are two and a half inches all of the other circles that we need are two and three quarters inches if you notice we have just this little eighth of an inch ridge around the edge so we're going to need two fancy circles to do our covers at two and a half inches we're going to need two cardboard circles from a cereal box or something like that at two and three quarters inches 
I will put the number of circles and the size in the description. You're going to need four two and three quarter inch circles to cover up your cereal box cardboard. And then you're going to need 12 of these two and three quarter inch circles for your pages. Now that is to make a six page book like this one. And remember you get this too big it's going to be fat so you have to make adjustments if you want to add more pages. I thought six pages was very nice so that means we need 12 but you need two of these cardstock white pages for each page, two p circles for each page. And all of this is just regular cardstock. Now, to cut my two and a half inch circles, where did they go? I used this punch because I had this punch. But I did not have a punch that was two and three quarters inch. Besides, punches don't really like to cut cereal box type cardboard. So I used my die cutter and a three quarter inch or a two and three quarter inch circle from my die set. If you don't have a die cutter, you can cut these out by hand. It's not it's not necessity that you have a die cutter or and I cut all the cardstock circles with my die cut. So the first things we're going to do is we're going to glue on and I'm using aqua mono liquid glue for this part. And I'm going to glue on one of the black cardstock circles. And I'm creating my front cover, so I'm going to glue on one of my trading coins size decorative circles. It's a circle, it really doesn't matter. Now, do not glue the other black circle on the back. You do not want to do that. You If you do, it's hard to get the parts together. Now I did notice that my cardboard shows a little bit and I will be going around my book later with a Sharpie marker to eliminate that. I just want to make sure that it glues down and stays flat. Oops, wrong glue. Now, if you want to decorate your cover, now's a good time to do it because it's flat, it's easy to get to. And I think I sort of like this one better. And I'm going to 
used a little of this. It came out of some stuff we were sorting through to get rid of recently. I don't decorate, so it's perfect for making some cute little oops, projects. And I think I'll use the tacky glue for that. Uh, I have tacky glue as well. And I'm just going to put these little stars right on there. Luckily, tacky glue got dries clear because that little star is sitting on the glue. There we go. And then I had some Tim Holtz words, and I decided I would use Imagine. And I never trust the sticky on these, especially that. It doesn't have any sticky on it. Oh, I tore it. Well, that's. So I'm going to use this glue and glue my little word down. And I will probably go around it with my pencil just a little bit. to highlight my little title. Okay. So that's my front cover. Okay. Now, I have some bias tape. And what happened was, I would have used some ribbon, but I didn't have any good half inch ribbon and I wanted a little bit wider this quarter inch or eighth inch ribbon was not going to be wide enough for the hinge I did have red bias tape now this is just single what they call single fold bias tape it has two little flaps on it like so so what I did was I took it to the sewing machine I put two layers together like that and I sewed down each side of it, just creating a little ribbon. It, ribbon would work fine. Now, I'm going to start with the back over here on my right, just because it's easier to start that way. And for some unknown reason, it's not sticking, there we go. Okay. However, I actually want to start with the little black ones. I'm sorry. We're going to stick down the little black ones and we're going to put tacky glue. We're only going to use one. We're going to go tacky glue and I'm going to go sort of right in the middle of the circle. Don't go clear out to the edge, then you're getting stuff all over everywhere. And I'm going to stick this bias tape right in there. And notice I did not come all the way out to the edge. It's not necessary and it makes it so that it's difficult to, 
to keep from getting sticky everywhere. Now we're going to lay in our pages. And the bias tape wants to lay upside down. And we're going to do this six times. I'm going to put tacky glue and again don't go all the way out to the edge and just put it nicely in the middle right there and you want about three-eighths of an inch between each little circle Again, I want three-eighths of an inch between this circle and the last one and I just used my finger I didn't I did not measure okay and so I'm going to create create a train so I'm going to go ahead and finish the train and then I'll be back Okay, I now have the beginning black circle and six two and three quarter inch white circles attached to my bind, bias binding or my ribbon. Now I have this last black circle and that's the inside of our um, back cover. So to attach that, the thing is, I don't want my bias binding to run all the way over there, so I'm going to clip it off like so. And I am going to use my tacky glue. Come on now. like I need more tacky glue and I want about three-eighths of an inch between my circles and I'm going to stick down this bias binding okay the next step is to go across and all of the white circle pages oh and I've used six one of the things you want to do is if you're going to do this, put your pages in in pairs because it is an accordion. So you need a, a left and a right side to each one. So if you, it's six, eight, ten, etc. So now we're going to put the back sides of the white pages on. I'm going to put a good amount of tacky glue on my binding. Don't overdo the tacky glue on, and that's really too slobbery. Okay, like so. And I'm going to take another circle and stick it down. I'm leaving this, I'll show you that in a few minutes. Now, when I get one of these stuck and I'm working on this, I usually put something heavy on it, like so. So I work on the next one and I will stick some glue on here. I need to remember to look for that tacky glue that you can stand upside down in its own lid. Make sure you only have one layer of your cardstock and stick this one down and then I just move my weight to the next page now I'm going to finish putting all my white pages on and then I'll be back okay I now have one inside black back black one I have six pages with both sides glued on let me flip that better and I have the other black end. So this one is going to be our front cover. What we need now is some little ties. 
and I used um, about 14 inches of ribbon and this is just little uh, eighth inch satin ribbon it was in actually it was in my mom's stash I don't have a lot of ribbon and things left because I used it actually used it so and I'm tying little knots in the ends of the ribbon keeps it from fraying and 14 inches may be a little long but I'd rather have it too long than to not be long enough and remember, as you add trading cards to this, your book is going to expand a little bit. So, trading coins, not cards, trading coins. Okay. Now then, this is going to be our front cover. So we are going to put a nice thick line of glue in the middle. We're going to sort of find the middle of our ribbon and as best you can put it down in the center. Then we're going to put a little more glue over the top and a little glue around the edges. And remember, if you go clear out to the edge, it could squish out at the same time. You don't want it to not be glued. Now I'm going to take my front cover and I'm going to push, put it on there as best I can. Now at this stage of the game, it gets a little thick and a little hard to manipulate. So we're going to employ some extra fingers. And I don't like the marks that these little guys leave so I'm going to put some cardboard we'll just leave it like that for a few minutes but I'm going to move down here I just got it and I'm going to do let's fold this up a little bit so you can see I'm going to do the back cover and again I'm going to put a nice run of glue there kind of find the middle kind of put it in the middle and again I'm not worrying about it I'm going to make sure that it's stuck down Let's put the lid on our tacky glue now. And I'm going to put the back cover on. And again, I'm going to employ some cardboard and some little clips. Now we can close up our little book and we do that by folding it like an accordion. Here's my front cover, the next page, next page, and we just fold it back and forth. Let's get rid of these clips. in the white page and fold the back cover now it helps to put all your pages and your book and we're going to put our little protective guys back on there and put on these clips the cardboard that I'm putting on is just clip uh, uh, protection from the teeth Okay. 
and just let it sit there like that for a little while because it just helps to let all the glue know that I'm in charge and I want my book to be flat. So that's my little coin book. I'm hoping that you like it. I hope that trading artist coins is something fun to you. I think it's going to be real interesting making some and trading them with other people. Um, please, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my other videos, please let me know, comment. If you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe. And now, go spend the afternoon, have some fun, enjoy, maybe make a little book or artist trading coin to go in one. Thanks for stopping by.